Hello and welcome to Rush Rush 19, a day of billions custom map. This map features upgrades for a lot of different units, so you can decide which ones you fancy and want to play with. Now in my case, I'm playing on the special Kensei TV difficulty. On that one, you can only pick one unit at the start, and that is the only unit you can use during the whole run. The options here are Ranger, Soldier, Sniper or Titans, and I let my viewers decide. And the winner for this run were Rangers, closely followed by Soldiers and... Barely anyone voted for snipers and titans. So I will be only using rangers. Thankfully they do start with a damage buff and have fire arrows right away. Furthermore there are several upgrades you can purchase throughout a run. This does depend on the units you're playing with. But for the rangers you can pay gold for damage, oil for damage or a wood for range. There's also two area of effect upgrades which take a mixture of resources. As with most maps, the goal is to survive the incoming zombie hordes and kill all the remaining zombies. The zombie waves do start on day 10, with the final wave happening at day 17. There's two entry paths to this map, one right in the south near your command center. Only a small amount of zombies will spawn there, but you still need some defenses for that. The main entrance though is in the north, that is where all the big waves will be coming from. On the minimap you can already see several trigger points. Most of them spawn zombies in the adjoining area. Some of them do also spawn zombies on the main zombie wave path though. Whenever you hover over the marker for those trigger points, the map does warn you how many zombies spawn and where they will spawn. So you can prepare for it accordingly. As mentioned, the map features multiple difficulty levels. So if you want to try it yourself, but want to have it a bit easier, that is an option. I'll leave a link to the map in the description so you can easily find it. And with that, lean back and relax, and I hope you enjoy the run. Okay, that's a lot of zombies nearby. So I don't need to build Tesla towers right away, because I'm a lazy person. There we go. Um, what do we need first? Cottage tech or farming? I guess that's the question. Maybe we get some unit production. Ah, I'm out of resources. Okay. Oh, some lag here. Oh, can we call them trombones of victory? I don't like the other words. <laughs> I mean, I'm fine with trombones. Also makes more sense since I played that at some point. Okay, let's get cottage tech. I mean, the rangers are at least quiet, right? That's definitely helping already, too. Well, I mean, quiet, we're still pulling a lot, but... Yeah. Rangers with lasers, one can dream. Are they still rangers at that point, though? That's the real question. Oh, there's a small Doomtown. Oh, the small Doomtown has 80,000 health. Okay. Let's see how this is gonna go. First wave, day 10. I don't know if the first wave comes from the west or the east. Maybe I should check um, the store and stuff in a second, too. Maybe let's do that. And get this fire till day 40. Oh, that's probably a global range. Fire, yeah, upgrade right there. 50,000 for the other full range. Wave info. Uh, I assume we're rock hard. Okay, a thousand dressed, but it doesn't say where. Okay, that's okay. What are the upgrades we can buy? 
unit upgrades, ranger. Okay, cost gold, gold, and then, ooh, oil. So I actually have to take oil. Good thing I checked, because otherwise I might have not have gotten the oil. 25,000 oil. And we need that five times. That's a lot of oil <laughs> we need. What? Okay. Wood for range. And the rest is gold. Ah, run speed, okay. Oh, AOE. Wood, stone, iron. Oh, we want that. Maybe it's a type when it only needs 2,500 oil. Otherwise, that's a lot of oil. Okay, we can't get towers upgrades because we don't have towers. Got it. The south road, it's, I think there's gonna be waves coming from there too. There's smaller ones, maybe? I don't know. But it sounded like there's stuff gonna come from there too. Oh, rally point buck, okay. Ooh, farm food generation. I mean, it's only gonna do help us medium, in the, like in mid game, not medium. <laughs> Most likely gonna get advanced quarries and it doesn't work for that, but it's still gonna be nice at the start. And to present more food, which well we need food, so. You're talking health points again? What to calculate? No, I'm. I'm just talking about the Doom Point. Town health. 80,000. Just a few. Oh, I guess this is misplaced. Two thousand arrows to kill us. Did you include the thirty percent armor? Oh, but they do fire damage. It looks like right. So maybe it doesn't have fire armor. It has no fire resistance. Okay, so maybe there's no armor. Then you're correct. They'll probably do a bit of fire damage with burning too. I assume that won't be too much, but we'll have to see. But yeah, that's why I'm building more rangers, basically. I probably should also start taking up. Seems to be an entry point, so I probably try to push until there and secure that. Yeah, it's <laughs> not damaging that too much, it seems like. Okay. Good thing we started some housing here. Just put some rangers and towers here so I don't pull them by accident. Defend this line there for now. Okay, well I upgraded all the housing here. So we need that housing area now. You think you have fire arrows because you chose the rangers? Um, I think the units pro probably always always have the, all the upgrades. It's just if you choose rangers, you can't build any of the other units, right? So it doesn't matter. Like if I had chosen soldiers, 
my rangers would have fire arrows, but I just can't build any rangers, basically. Or, or no, the rangers would have like zero attack range or something. So, I think if you play in the mode where you can use all units, they probably start with um, fire arrows right away too. Just so they're a viable option. I don't think the rangers are stronger than like in the you can build everything mode. It's just you're limited to only rangers. Um, I don't really need to research. Ah, I guess the inn we want to have eventually. We're making progress. What's the trigger height point here? 2000 right in front of you. Okay. Um, doesn't really matter. I don't think we'll run into worker problems while we have cottages. So. But we're not gonna use Lucifer, so doesn't matter. Looks like we're already pulling some jobbies here. Yep, quite a few actually. Oh, enter spears in there too. Oof. Rangers on high target, Brody. Get some stone housing. I'd like to build more stuff, but I mean, I kind of need to stay alive here. Use more soldiers enters now too. Wait, how much was the cheapest uh, damage upgrade actually? Wasn't that like five thousand gold or something? Five thousand. Okay. Oh, we can also give them more life. How much is life? A thousand gold, ten left. It's only four damage, but I guess it'll take up eventually. Also give them more life. I mean, more range would be amazing for them, to be honest. But, yeah. I think I'm gonna build more towers here eventually, so I don't really want to build... Um, Soldiers injured still.
I think I also need some energy now. Which, could we build energy close together on these maps or no? I don't remember. Well, we can't use the titans, I don't think, so... Herbal mayor with the fire fence traps. Oh, we can build right next to each other energy. I mean, maybe this isn't the place to build it, though. Okay, good to know. Like maps where you upgrade rangers with wood. Yeah, I just don't have enough wood. I was impressed. I hope they come from here, not here. I mean, I guess we'll find out. I also need more stone income, actually. Maybe. Okay, they're spawning. Oh, nope. There's also stuff coming here. This is the smaller part, though. Okay. I mean, I can't make this global just yet, but we can still already use it. Okay, looks like not too much came here. Big scare, and we're good. There's so many jobbies up there. And hoping I could... Oh, there's also giants apparently up there. Okay. Good to know. And I'm hoping to clear this up here before the wave arrives, but I guess that's not happening. Then. Uh, might as well give them more life too. I mean, I'm fighting giants, right? So giving them a lot of life, actually. Oh, they can take a hit or two. Probably not bad. Kill the giant. Looks like this health already paid off. I have the wire traps, might as well throw them in here. Oh, and I didn't research my oil. All right. Like, is there a town on this side too, or is this? No, this is empty. Okay. Here it is. Yeah. 
And come down here. Oh, I misplaced this tower, huh? Well, we'll eventually buy Global Energy Range and then we fix this here. A lot coming down here. I want the veteran one, no, I just didn't have enough resources earlier. Like, I don't have enough stone. Let's buy some stone. Maybe I need more troops down here. Just enough, I don't know. Well, now it's not enough here, though. Ooh. some of these walls and then I guess we can trigger this. Should be double the wave but now we have all the troops back here. And I can make the in global Quarries and get all the ore. If I had stone. No idea how much is going to come here eventually, so Guess we just want to populate this decently, and we can just leave it as is. Oh, I guess the next wave is also coming. Oh. Weird that this spot isn't oil, like everything else here is oil, but that one spot isn't. Uh, upgrade my quarries. You just need to dig for the oil yourself. Uh, I'm not good at digging. Could you do it for me, please? Thank you. Oh yeah, let's get the academy, actually. I need some range, those spiders are terrible for me.
The wooden come from the other side here too. Do I need walls for the wave? Uh, make sure to not accidentally buy the run speed because that costs wood. And we don't want to waste that. Kinda of hoping to reach the next entry point here before the wave, but doesn't look like we'll make that. Well, I guess that helped against the giant at least. Taking long. I guess I could have maybe made it to the entry point. Just took a while for it to show up. Is the victorious on the map? Because I can't. Oh no, I can't reset. I was missing the energy one, but we already have that. I need stone for that too, obviously. It's also coming further down. Yeah, I thought the entry was somewhere here, but I guess it makes sense that it's there. Oh, now I don't have as many walls as I expected to have either. Well, you think that helps against that? More damage. Seems like this is all all okay again. Yeah, at least the damage currently is decent, so and my rangers hold one hit of the giant, so that's why I wanted the extra life. Well, I guess they still didn't fight them head on too much. Without some support. get more stone so I can upgrade my housing more. Also getting close to the first range upgrade. So that'll be nice. This Tesla tower is safe, but we're building it. Yeah. Gotcha. Building complete. 
Probably don't need all the iron because I'm not producing any iron units, right? But I'm here, so I'm building it. Next trigger point, 2,000 Trest, 2,000 Harpy, 50 Chubby, okay. Probably want some walls for that. Maybe someone scout this side down here. And wait for global energy range. Ooh, there's still giants down here. Send the whole squad down here then. Like your giant grill. That's the best way to deal with them. How much is 200,000 for the bigger damage upgrade? Okay. Well, I guess we're still buying the bigger ones for a while. front of you. I probably should always read where the waves, like the next trigger point spawns, right? So I <laughs> have an idea what I'm running into. Okay. I'll get the stone here. All this oil. I mean, I probably shouldn't have upgraded some of the farms because, yeah. I have enough food right now. What I don't have is stone to actually use it. Since I triggered here and there's a wave coming, let's get more damage. Flaming arrows, good idea. Always a good idea. Especially if you get it for free from the start. Loving it. Building does an anticipation of future needs. Maybe I should just build some housing down here, actually. Like, it's gonna take a while before I get a new housing area, right? Yeah, maybe do that, actually. And I don't have enough stone to just go for stone housing. still come back here later and um, take this for food. Oh yeah, I still have the Victorious too. I haven't built that yet. 
But I didn't have the stone for it either. Oh, I haven't researched it yet. Okay, yeah, let's get that. Get that and then make it global. Good idea. Populate this down here a bit more. Careful to actually leave a path down here, though. Or you should have left it somewhere in here. I mean, there might be one, but I would need to double check. What's the next trigger point? 3,000 dress, 3,000 harpies, 500 jobbies, spiders in front. In front of you, okay. Well, let's go there. And buy a lot of damage upgrades, real quick. We can be more aggressive here. Uh, it seems to be a global warehouse, yeah. Like, at least everything I see right now is covered already. Oh, Victoria's is still taking time to research. Okay. there so I can build some walls. More wood income. We want those range upgrades. Should have built a few more walls for the harpies. But we can get Ranger Range 1. And, I mean, I have most of the cheap upgrades in a second. Let's just buy the rest. A Ranger map, nice. I mean, it can be whichever unit type you want map, actually. Okay, I need. 25,000 more gold to buy all the cheap upgrades and then we we're save up for the more expensive stuff. And I'll make the Victoria's global range in a second too. Okay, populate this down here a bit more. Spawning is taking a while. Maybe I should have made all of this here housing. Where's the next housing area we get? Over here, maybe? Oh, or maybe this up here. Okay. 
I mean, we'll have to kill a bunch of mutant and giants for that already. Uh, victorious global. And the last few damage upgrades. And how much was the AOE? 100,000 gold, 5,000 wood, 1,000 stone, 1,000 iron. Wait, I should save up for that. Maybe I should just buy the stone. We should get AOE. I mean, I'll have to wait out until this spawn here ends before we can move out, probably. As promised, I want the stone to upgrade my housing. I guess I have upgraded all the housing covered by market and bank already, at least, anyway. I'm buying stone. I want the AOE. I guess I gotta save up for 100k anyway. Rain of arrows? I know. I mean, I guess there's not too much time between waves to actually... How bad is the wave? Like, can we just push against the wave? Probably, right? Actually, I can get AOE. Okay. Oh yeah, now, now we're talking. That AOE feels a bit too cheap, to be honest. Like, I probably should have gotten that right away. And there's one more. I guess I should save up for that, but I used my stone already again to upgrade housing. Because, <laughs> you know, gold income and such things. Burn, baby. Burn. a lot of wood but it doesn't feel that impressive like it still takes a while to get those things have i taken all the oil here yeah i think so i mean the giants still hurt when they cleave into me Five mutant, fifteen giants, all from the lane in the north. Okay, so maybe we should build some walls for that. Although with AOE, maybe we're just fine anyway. Five six, and you have a thousand stone, which is not a lot. Considering how much I use up all the time. Okay, yeah, I guess I've, I'm saving up the stone for the next uh, other AOE upgrade too. I mean, this is all populated, all these towers already. Just in case. Uh, those give zombie lives from the lane in north and in front of you. So is it double the amount then? I guess so, like each. But it's the next easiest trigger, so yeah. Uh, well, we should be able to get a bigger damage upgrade now. Right. Nine more of those. I mean, I want to get here before the next wave. I think that's fine then. Looks like we're past the uh, mutants and giants. Or maybe I can push against it already again. Okay, 
just need a bit of gold and then I can buy the other AOE upgrade. Ranger. Advanced AOE. Does that cost wood? To, uh, cost 5,000 wood, okay. I guess it does delay my range a bit getting all that AOE. Like another range would have been really nice too. I guess not as nice as just having AoE. Oh, and the nearby giants as well. Back to spitters. Beast those Figures and waves take a while to clear though. AoE OP? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I think we're ahead of the curve right now. Oh, we're doing pretty fine. That's to a new ranger rally point up here. And we'll block this side a bit. And get towards towards the entry point. And do this trigger. Created all my housing too, huh? Can I fill all the towers here? No. Wait out this wave and then I do the trigger. I think. One range and one damage. What do you want now? Okay. Yeah, probably should get more soldiers and just somewhere too. Looks pretty fine. How big was the trigger? 150 mutants, 220 giants. How much health do they have currently? 18,000. I mean, maybe I should put some stone towers in here too then. Just in case. Let's wait out one more damage upgrade before we trigger. I mean, could be bigger. I don't have the space for soldiers and just kind of. And, I mean, it's always a trade-off between we get more gold, we make the army stronger faster too, right? I usually go for stronger units and not too many. But you are not wrong that it could be stronger. Uh, do I still have range upgrades left? Yeah, one more range upgrade. Okay, and then we can get the uh, run speed too. So tired. Last night was I'll 
Let's see how this goes. Oh, I probably should have built more towers towards this direction. I built an energy tile. Final question, do I watch Kenzie video or the Kenzie stream? I personally prefer the streams, but totally up to you. I mean, this run will eventually come to YouTube as well, so... Either one works. Okay, I think we're fine. And we finally get another housing area here. It's taking a while. Uh, in front of you... Oh, I guess it's different what... So in front of you... I guess the top side comes in front of me. So 400 mutants, 350 giants. And then 500 mutants, 450 giants from the east. Oh, I guess east is here. Oh, I mean, east isn't different than north, right? It's just to take longer to get there, but I mean, I can't flank them there anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much. I suppose. Maybe push the left first. But left side I mostly get food, I need a housing area. And I already triggered this side now, right? So it's not like I still have to do this trigger. I need space more than anything right now. I mean I could build housing over this farming here too, I suppose, you know. We could still use that. Or I could push while they're still spawning here, yeah, I suppose I could also do that. Or we just go spawn camping. Spawn camping isn't ideal against spiders because they still get a shot off <laughs> occasionally. What? Oh, are they stopping though? I think they might be stopping. What's going on in the Seeky South then? Uh, sometimes, I think when the waves come, a bit comes down the air. It hasn't been too scary yet, but I mean, I've also left a decent amount of rangers there for... It just seems to be another entry path. Don't trigger this, please, just yet. Right. So, yeah. Not very painful. We want to upgrade the rangers again. One more range. And more damage. Squad up there to clear that side, and one squad here. Okay. 
times. I'll need more energy. Oh, I guess this also triggers from the front again here stuff, right? Still didn't build my Tesla tower here to expand there. Okay, I'm gonna trigger the wave isn't bad, so Put a few more of these here. Get one more upgrade. And I have all the range here. Yeah. I guess it is 25,000 oil for uh, for these upgrades. I have 15,000 right now. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna take a while. I mean, I might as well get the run speed though. And then trigger this here. Or a few can help on this side. I, mean, I guess I could also get advanced mills for some space saving, but advanced mills are terrible. So. I guess now I don't need more wood, actually. I think I have all the wood upgrades, right? Nice when the giants file towards you in a nice orderly space down there. <laughs> That's them. Coming down here, and yeah, that's still fine. Like those stone towers, though, just in case. I'll wait until they stop spawning there. We can push in. Do this so we have a better path there too. I mean, so I, I can buy the global energy range, I think. Uh, oh, there's another trigger here. Wait, did I check the wrong trigger? I thought I did this trigger, but I guess I did another one. Unless this is the same trigger again. Ice wise. That would be kind of weird though. Upgrade left, and then we gotta save for the big one. Oh, so, I guess thanks, Chet, for picking Ranger. They're actually pretty good on this map this time. I think a silent start meant we actually did the silent the clearing at the beginning here in one try without trying to, too hard on getting like the perfect noise timing. Okay, I'll send some of them over to deal with the Doomtown already. Okay, well that was quick. Oh, I guess I'm just waiting this out. If the spawning wasn't um, this slow, like we could clear faster. <laughs> but I gotta wait until these spawnings pop. 
Rangers on steroids. I mean, the AOE upgrade was cheaper for the Rangers than I expected it to be, so that helped a ton, to be fair. We were still doing fine, and then we got the AOE, and then, yeah, that did wonders. Yeah, I won't build more zonals since we don't need more wood income. It's gonna be energy, food, and housing from here. A timely reappearance. The dungeon awaits. I mean, I guess I don't need. Hmm. I don't need that much more gold either. I think. Ooh, we're getting pretty far here, though. Maybe we bring some troops over. Like, it'll take a while to fill this up from here, I suppose. I'll be one child down, couldn't I? Thanks for the 25 months. Dropping the Prime here. Very much appreciate it. And as well as... Occasional Raptor. Only occasionally, though. It's good that you sometimes, you know, just... I assume plain human. Not as interesting, but... Can be helpful. Thanks for playing my map. Thank you for making the map. I missed the release of it. So that's why I'm a bit late for playing it. But I got around to it. Okay, let's block a bit here. I mean, Rush Racks maps at this point are just a classic, so... Yeah. And we find one we played. Um, I mean, I can put some energy here. I mean, technically, we can do also hunter cottages, but I'm not suffering from food location currently, so. Uh, I think we can buy the last two medium ranger upgrades. Oh, only one left, okay. How much do we need now? 600,000. Oh. Oh, there's a mistake. I haven't bought any. It says we can buy this five times and it says that there's only one left. A minor mistake here. And then, I mean, getting close to getting the first oil upgrade. Thanks again for this time of fun, for us at least. Before I arrive here, I used to watch on YouTube. I think that's how most people find me from YouTube nowadays. And then, well, depending when, where you live and which time zones, and it's just hard to also watch live, so. Shout out to the YouTube viewers as well. Oh, units to the Oil East. Wait, why would I want to put units there? Like, I can't shoot over the forest here. 
I need that. Oh, here. Oh. Oh, okay. I guess we could put some there. I mean, let's fill up this path first, though. Maybe. And the spawn here is taking long. Oh, just as I say it, they stop spawning. Ooh, we can we can build a... can finally get the Spire, I think. Global map range. Hell yeah. Do I see her? Oh, this giants have 40,000 health now, yeah. You got a bit tank here, I suppose. See a lot of rangers. Yeah, I mean, I let chat vote again what they wanted to see. The options were soldiers, rangers, snipers or titans. Snipers and titans got three votes in total. <laughs> and it was a somewhat close race between rangers and uh, soldiers. And... Ingo might have swayed it with some channel points invested. I think the upgrade numbers are mixed up. You can buy the medium one and the big one. That's 500 times now. Oh, you mean with the oil one? Oh, this left here. Yeah, maybe that's, yeah, maybe this is... The five left should be up here for the gold. And this one left should be here for the, the oil. Yeah, maybe that's the mix-up. Good catch. August 15 will be my two-year sub-anniversary. Time flies. It does fly, man. It does fly. I don't know why I can't repair all the market and bank here. Like, all of them on this map. Do I need to be concerned here? Maybe I do need to be a bit concerned there. Send some troops back for that. I mean, the zombies, I think, got a decent health buff again. Or like the 40k, so yeah, suddenly all my defenses are not as strong anymore. But we can get a damage buff. That'll probably help. Yeah, I'd more say this map isn't horrendously overtuned. <laughs> It's like a reasonable map. Instead of saying it's easy. You can actually buy the oil one more five times. Oh, the other way around. That's a lot of, like, that's a high oil cost though. Like, in 40 days, I barely made enough oil for one upgrade. Or not even that yet. So, I feel like that's asking for a lot of oil. I think it's the other way around. You can buy the... Gold one five times and the oil one only one one. But we, I mean, we'll see in a bit, right? Because I mean, 125,000 oil is a lot. If we need that much oil, I have to buy it from the market. I really don't want to do that. Let's just put it that way. Okay, 
Yeah, either way, it seems like a mix up um, unintended one. And not a big issue. Okay, so this trigger. Ooh, 1600 in front. Oh no, from the east. Okay, and then 120, 150 in front. Well, maybe we do start building more stone towers here. Actually, I pulled some rangers on this side now. I'm gonna upgrade some mills, so oh, I'm still researching that. Because I'm running into space issues again. Okay, well, we'll wait out the wave. Oh. And again, the waves are a lot easier right now than, I guess, the triggers, so... I guess the wave doesn't really fall into... <laughs> uh, doesn't change it a lot, how difficult it will be. But yeah, maybe we wait for... Well, we can get the oil damage upgrade now, so maybe we get that. Ranger damage 500, hell yeah. Well, let's say four left now. Oh, but we bought this, huh? I didn't check which one said it was still left or not. I bet. It's a nice upgrade, yep. I mean, that's why we claimed all that oil all this time. Purely for that upgrade. I don't want to build stone towers, so we'll try to do it without stone towers. So it's annoying to build and destroy them. Well, build is fine, but destroying them can be annoying. I think with the damage we have, we should be fine. That's less for more oil. I mean, I researched it, I suppose. But again, red. I guess we can check now if I can buy the ranger upgrade or if we actually need the oil. Okay, I can't buy. So yeah, you were right. I guess I need a lot of oil then. Damn it. Yeah, I'll build the uh, Atlas transmuter in that case. In that case, let's build that. And then, I mean, I guess we still want a lot of gold then because we'll have to buy oil. Let's face it. I won't be making enough oil. I guess you don't really need advanced farms on this map technically, right? So you would save oil that way too. If you wouldn't build all the extra housing that I'm building. The game really popular in China? Uh, I think so. At least they're making a lot of maps compared to um, English speaking. Although this is not a Chinese map. You can see the difference that, that it's actually feasible in being. <laughs> it's not horribly overtuned. A good indicator. Strangers you can get by without advanced farms with all other units. I was always being concerned. Oh, true. Yeah, I guess I don't need extra food. Yeah, maybe that's why. But I, I got some advanced farms early on and was like, I have way too much food and then I built a bit over food here. I feel like I could have built only housing here and then do advanced farming here and it probably would have been fine. A steadfast supporter. But that's a good point, yeah, I don't need as much food because I'm playing with rangers. But that's why I'm also saying like, I, I'll just get some advanced mills now. We save some space as well. Okay, 
guess we can populate this side again. What's the next trigger? 2,500 mutants and giants, 800 in front. We also have this trigger in the middle still, right? Like, that's the just make everything harder trigger. Get the zombies more life, run speed. Yeah. Okay, well, I gotta wait until this stops spawning. Oh, yeah, the oil platforms, thank you. Yeah, definitely should get those. Yeah, I need... I should get a auto-clicker again for this stuff. Have we stopped here yet? No. It was still 20 faith. 25k oil, like that's so much. Is this the first try? Yeah, this is first try. I think a big part is first try is because we chat voted for rangers. Because I think otherwise the noise here might have killed me, like we just barely didn't die there. I was pulling a lot. <laughs> and with soldiers or sniper I probably would have pulled more. Trying to figure out the perfect timing. Wait, wait, I can buy through menu? Exchange? Oh. Uh, I guess we want resources for gold. Maybe this way. We want oil. Is this the right ray round? I'm not sure. I want gold rest. Ah, uh, 3,000 seconds. Yeah, that seems more, I mean, blood burst exchange, but more reasonable. Uh, okay, that's a lot better. Thanks for implementing that and not making me click the... How much gold do I have, actually? 400k. So, we can do like 7. Oh, it only shows the options I can buy anyway. Oh, nice. Is that a better deal, though? That, did anyone check if it's a better deal than I get from having all the markets? Yes. You know, just asking. There we go. Yeah, so my bad that I complained about clicking a lot there. Definitely don't need to do that. A steadfast support. Mapmaker is ahead of me. I'll be figure of trigger was that 800 giants in front of me. I mean, I guess it depends how fast they spawn. I'll put some stone towers down this time, just in case. I guess we also could bring more rangers over here, just in case. He didn't want to come. Oh, I perfectly timed it to do it again with the wave <laughs> at the same time. Obviously. Okay. Uh, change for more oil. It's still gonna take a long time. 8,000 oil is oof, over a million. So, yeah, I guess we pay like 4 million or something. 3 to 4 million for the damage upgrades right now. And we're making 
a hundred K. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, I guess I could put some rangers here now, but I mean, there's not too much space here, and I can vault it off to just force them there, but yeah, it'll send some. Oh, the blast. Oh, wait, I don't have a path to get there. That's one. It's like they're running weird paths. Yeah. <laughs> trying to run out here now, because they're like, this is closer. And we're looking over here. Okay, fine. New buys the same price like three markets. Okay, so I technically would be better at buying oil this way here. Because we have four markets and we'll get a fifth one. Right? Yeah, we have four right now. So technically that would be better. It doesn't oh it doesn't scale after three? Oh. Okay. I thought it did. So then, exchange is equally good. Oh, that's perfect. Much health do giants have now? 45,000, okay. Like with three? I mean, but now it's 680, right? Oh, I can get, just go down here. Yeah, I guess... Uh, oh, wait, no, I I mean, it doesn't matter how many I've selected, right? I would need to destroy some. I don't want to destroy enough the markets. Oh, you mean how many... I mean, it's always just the same gold price, no? Could also sell wood. I guess I could, but I'm too lazy for that. We're not that desperate yet. Okay, ooh, just enough for a damage upgrade, actually. Okay, three more left. I mean, there's some oil to claim up here, but yeah, I mean, the majority will just be from buying the oil. I miscalculated. My math is bad. Well, that's again why we don't do, do math on stream, right? I don't know if there's going to be more during the final wave. Maybe I'll put more rangers down here too, just in case. Like, I don't want to die because of that. So what's different? Like, what, if you do the math correctly, what changes? This is the part where our arrows will block the sun. <laughs> yes. Yes, this is that part. I mean, mostly here. I mean, they are pretty tanky nowadays, though. How much damage do we do? Nearly 2k with the Rangers now. Okay. Okay. How much is wasted, though? Like... When you see a giant dying, there's still like a hundred arrows shooting at the same point. Thankfully with the AoE it still kills stuff, I assume, but yeah. Oil! We found oil! I like how the Doom Towns just disappear now when we get close. Before it took forever it took forever to kill that first Doom Town. <laughs> there even wasn't even a big one in the initial housing area, and now they're just disappearing. No that's progress. Our 
Video commission can handle all the errors. Oh, uh, that looks good on my side. But yeah, I guess that would be an issue. But yeah, I need a better PC. We can do Rangers only more often. Okay, how much is the last trigger? Hit this trigger without a wave. Oh, huh. I mean, don't tell me what to do, but you're probably good. Good idea. <laughs> probably. There's currently no wave coming, so I guess maybe we should do the trigger. Uh, well, I still need someone to get forward in here, though. Wait, was it? No. It oh, from the north and east. Oh, I, so I guess nothing is coming here, actually. Never mind. It's all from there. Meaning if I can get in here, we can actually flank again. Excellent. Okay, let's finish the housing. Uh, repair this. Uh, this. Oh, someone has been probably desperately waiting for me to fix this housing here. Or Jet didn't even notice, and they always only pretend when they that it annoys them. But then they don't remember. More oil? Probably more oil, good idea. Didn't notice. <laughs> Should do a quiz after every map, like how many building mistakes were there. And then if Jet doesn't find them all, they're not allowed to complain for the, the next month. That sounds reasonable to me. Yeah, you start with the warehouse, it's in the command center, like it's hard to see, but it's in here. Under... <laughs> Under the spire and the command center there. There we go. And it has full map range, like it covers everything. We don't need to worry about the warehouse on this map. What am most sitting missing a house in one of the four dominion blocks, for example? You are right. You found one of the mistakes. Now Chad is desperately looking for the mistakes. <laughs> Again. I have so much to complain about. Have you seen how hot it is today? It's actually a nice day here. Well, I mean, it's cloudy, but it's like 20 degrees Celsius. Which has been pretty nice after a few hot days. Maybe we sent the hot weather to you. Now we can complain, not the chat or whatever. I mean, it's 1 1, right? I found one mistake, chat found one mistake. Does that mean chat is allowed to complain? This is a lot more against me, I feel like. It would need to at least beat me. My range? Why are they running out there? Building 
32 Celsius here today. Ooh, yeah. That's that's uh pool weather time. Alternative housing wise. Yeah, I mean for those I don't care if the Teslas I mean to be fair I don't care about my housing being blocked a bit either. <laughs> but yeah, I, I should have destroyed all the Teslas before I upgraded the global energy range, but now I don't want to do it in case it causes um, issues. Or like the bugs happen and then there's non-covered areas and then I have to rebuild some Teslas and I'm just leaving them. I mean, chat will always complain, it doesn't matter what I do. Either chat or someone on YouTube will find a mistake I did during this run. Not that I couldn't post, point out multiple mistakes I made during this run, but... Yeah. Gotta show off how smart you are by finding mistakes uh, from someone who streams this game. How else would you know how smart you are? I mean, we're nearly done with the housing, and then we can start buying oil again for more upgrades. An IQ test? I, I'm not sure if they really tell you how smart you are either, to be honest. I mean, I haven't done one, but yeah. I wouldn't trust that result either way. Unless it's good, obviously, then it's totally accurate. <laughs> Only if it's good, though. Like it, like looking at. I've seen some of the like um, exercises or what you want to call it. You have to do for that. I feel like a ton of them you can just train, so it doesn't really tell how intelligent you are. It just tells you how good you studied for the test, right? Am I wrong in that? IQ tests are notorious and inaccurate, yeah. Like, saw someone do an IQ test on stream, like watched that for 10 minutes, and then it was one exercise, if you didn't know, like, one move was allowed to, like, I think pattern recognition that you were allowed to rotate or not. Like, if you don't know that you're allowed to rotate, then you'll fail, like, 80% of the following tasks. But if someone tells you you're allowed to do that once, then you'll be fine with all of them. So it's it's more of a, yeah, for me, have you studied it, then you'll do probably 50% better. Uh, let's buy some, but I might be wrong. I mean, I don't know how exactly they work. I haven't looked into it too much. Can we get enough? Ooh, we can get enough for one upgrade. Nice. How many upgrades have we left? Uh, the other question, I guess. We have two more left. Okay. Um, I don't know if we triggered this by one of the rangers running over this accidentally way earlier. I guess, maybe. Or we'll do it now. I guess we already did this, huh? Well, so I buffed the zombie half by accident at some point during the run. I don't know when. I mean, I saw them run up here once. Maybe it was then. Oh, I guess when I rallied those over here, right? Some tried to run out. Maybe I triggered it during that. Maybe that's why the zombies were a bit tankier at that point. Of course, you can train it like anything else. But then it's not an accurate... Like, then you can't just someone take the test and say how intelligent they are, right? Like, if you can train for it. Because you're just training for that specific test. You're not showing that you're intelligent. You're just showing that you're good at training for this test. And maybe if you're really dumb, even with training, you can't do the test. I mean, maybe that's fair. But it just tells me it's not an accurate estimate of how intelligent someone is. It wasn't easy enough, so you had to buff it early. <laughs> yeah. Touch it early on day 40. Really? Day 40 already? Huh. Oh, maybe that was the one where I nearly died? 
Was that it? Like, where I was, like, concerned that I'm dying here? Maybe that was the trigger. So... Yeah. I mean, a good thing then if I triggered it early, because it made the rest of the clearing and such a bit slower and harder. What's the 19th? Because it's the 19th map in the Rush Rush series. Just an indicator for that. Look at all the rangers missing that mutant. <laughs> One mutant is running and like a hundred or a few thousand rangers are just missing. Right. Why not put rangers in towers? You mean here? Because it's a hassle to put them in towers. It would be better to do it and also yeah, put more in them in the back here. But putting a few thousand units in towers is really annoying to do. And I don't think we need to do it, so I'm gonna be lazy. I don't think you could measure intelligence. Yeah, I don't know of a good way to measure it. Like, maybe we don't have one yet. I think eventually there might be a good way to do it. But, yeah. The worst part is people will also put like the value of a human being on how intelligent they are at that point too, which is also bullshit to do, but you know, that's just us being humans. Red in a maze, but for humans. <laughs> like that. Just stop and eat the cheese, you dumb. I mean, it depends on the cheese, I guess, if I'm dumb or not. If it's a cheese, if it's a delicious cheese. Like, maybe on top of some, some nachos or something, I might stop and eat the cheese. When are they going to put in a go to tower button? We had someone post a program that might do that on Discord. But I was hesitant to install it because, uh, uh, yeah, I didn't trust, like I didn't understand enough of it to trust the source, so I haven't tried it. But there might be a mod that does that. I was just too scared to try it. I'll put a few more rangers down here in case, but so far this seems like a non-issue. Want to measure intellect? Are you following Kenzie TV? Yes, intelligent. No, not intelligent. Yeah, I'm not sure that's true. I'm sorry, chat, but I'm not sure that's true. I can't kill this one. There we go. Oh, oh there are chubbies and harpies and stuff spawning here too. Okay. I only saw the executors and such at the end. Uh, I think day 70 was final wave, so we should be there soonish. But let's double check. Playing on normal mode day 70. Mystery can say mode day 70. 2002, 4000 mutant, 200 giants east, 1250 giants from north. There's four spawns in north, each one is. 1,250 every 8 hours. It doesn't say anything about the south, so maybe south doesn't get any worse than it's already at. And again, we have a lot of rangers down there now, so... I mean, I still um, need more oil. For the last few upgrades, I suppose, as well. Change gold for oil. Ooh. Still not enough for... i to wait a bit longer. I mean, we can build 2,000 more rangers, I guess, and then we run out of workers as well. There is an end to this. No, you're decent at playing the game when the map makers make a mod dedicated to you. It's nice to 
the map maker puts your name in one of their maps, either just as a thank you or a difficulty mode. But also shout out to the map makers, in this case, Tragically Hip for making the map. Shout out or no shout out, I appreciate making him making all these maps. Can't you sell iron? Yeah, I could sell iron, I could sell wood too. If we can't get all the remaining upgrades before the final wave, maybe we'll start selling stuff. Those gets a few mutes and giants, but nothing. And of your rangers couldn't have. <laughs> okay. I mean, I assume there wouldn't be too much. Like, this would be the worst way to die if you, like... Yeah. A lot comes here and you just... Like, there's no reaction time, right? If you don't have enough. But, I mean, we filled the ground nearby, so... Somewhere a giant got stuck. Like, we're having constant wave. And it shows that here. We'll probably have to wait for forced victory anyway. If I do chase... No, they're not going anywhere, okay. Like, maybe we can chase them or something, but... Since the upgrades are bugged mix, the rangers are already so stronger than intended. Oh, I thought... I thought the bug was, like, that it only showed, like, the wrong number of how many you bought already. Now I get you saying the bug is, I can buy too many oil upgrades. Like, that's the bug? Maybe that's true. Are you sure, though? Like, those giants sound like they're getting pretty tanky. Time to upgrade the damage. Good point. We just need a few more days. I mean, one more wave and then final wave. So, going nicely. I'm so used to getting gold from kills from custom map, then whenever I play survival now, I'm like, I get gold so slowly. Like, <laughs> it's weird that it's more normal for me to get uh, corpse recycling than not get it nowadays. We have a button to speed time when this happens. Yeah, I mean, some custom maps do that where you can call like the final wave early, but I mean, we're not that much faster. And a lot of, like, I feel like it, maybe not 50%, but like a decent amount of maps who have a button like that, it screws up. <laughs> and then there's no final wave and you automatically win, or like too many waves come, or like sometimes it works great, but yeah, not always. I mean, it would be nice if the game hit a speed up button, I guess, but yeah. A lot of times it just means you're playing on too low difficulty if you need a speed up button. Again, like, the first mutant running down here just dodges all, all the arrows. Like, if you didn't have some towers here... They'd get all the way to the command center, I guess, before they die. I mean, I, I don't know. I enjoyed the campaign. At least the normal missions. I had fun replaying it, too. And yeah, corpse recycling is one of the big things I enjoy having there. Brain tech, corpse recycling. Super soldiers. All nice things. Super... Rocking towers are also really great for the campaign. Okay. How much health are we dealing with? I mean, the Giants have 120,000 health right now. That's decent. 30% armor. And it sounded like in the beginning they'll get 60% armor if you're playing rangers. 
what that 80 was that 80 percent armor i think 80 percent armor was for the soldiers and snipers right they'll have a lot more armor and a lot more health too uh, on the mutants it's 60,000 but with 10 percent armor so i guess giants have double the health of the mutants but also a 30 percent armor By the way, I have a couple of StarCraft 2 players suddenly started playing Tab. Um, someone said so, yeah. I've only seen Tasteless stream. I saw him play a few, few maps. Well, not a few maps, but like started playing it. Which I guess is not... He's more of a StarCraft 1 commentator than a StarCraft 2 player. But I mean, same... Same internet bubble, I guess. Or similar. Ranger Firearms doesn't care for armor. Oh yeah, I guess that's true. We actually don't care about the armor increase. That's true. I forgot about that again. I mean, unless they gave them fire armor. I don't know if anyone does. No. Okay. We'll have to check on the final wave if they also got fire resistance. But currently, the armor doesn't matter. You're completely right. You terminal too? Ah. Terminal just followed Kenzie during the stream? Well, thanks for the follow then. I missed it. I think most people who play strategy games will enjoy tap, at least for like playing through all the survival maps, maybe a campaign run. Uh, I'd probably recommend it to anyone who plays RTS too. I mean, playing it as much as I do is maybe a bit overkill, but yeah, just doing a few runs with it. Just the timing is just on. I mean, is it though? Like just one of. Isn't it usually, I mean, it's the same thing in most bubbles, I'd say, like, one person finds it, right? And then the other streamers probably pass by in his stream. Like, like let's say you Thermal found it for some reason. Uh, I think Winter Gaming I saw played, but that was a few months ago at some point. Either way, like, let's say one of them finds it, right? Recommended or just finds it randomly. He plays it and then... The other streamers pass through his stream, probably just checking what he's doing or to say hi, and then they see the game like, oh, that's that looks fun. So they try to. So then you get the whole StarCraft bubble trying the game for a while. Like Day9 tried it a few weeks, maybe? Not too long ago, I think he played it a bit too. I think. I'm not 100% sure. Either way, like, a lot of people would know him too, right? From the StarCraft community. And you see the same thing happening, like, in the tap community too. If, like, one person starts playing a similar game, then some of the other ones start picking it up too, potentially. If they don't already know it. Like, you'll probably find all the tap streamers try Cataclysmo at some point. They either have tried it already, or are gonna try it probably within the next few weeks. By the oil upgrade, yep, should do that. I just find it fun seeing new players try the game, and with choices they make. And then, it's also, I mean, more interesting than fun, but interesting to see what chat recommends people to do and how many questionable choices <laughs> in recommendations are there so yeah like sometimes it's just plain wrong and sometimes it's like recommendations for if you're doing 900 percent no pause and trying to do like win streaks or high score runs you're recommending to someone who's playing the game for like half an hour so far. And it's like, you're not wrong, it's just not helpful. Trying to recommend someone who's doing... It's just learning the basics. Good flying rangers at home. Yeah, Got some Jesus rangers. Yeah, we have all the upgrades now, so... I mean, just in time, so... If it wasn't intended to get this many damage upgrades, I mean, it's it worked out perfectly timing-wise, though. I get recommendations I kill the zombies. Okay, okay. I mean, 
Is that the right recommendation there? Dermot's chat was interesting. Yeah, you get that for all new players who play the game though. Like, I sometimes, like, yeah, if they ask something specific about mechanics or something, I usually I sometimes say something, but otherwise I just let them figure it out. It's, I don't know, it's way more interesting to see them, what they came up with and what their ideas have, they have. And yeah, it's, I mean, oftentimes there are mistakes, but I mean, everyone I've seen made mistakes, especially if they just started playing the game. Okay, well, 5,000 north, 2,000 to 5,000 east. I mean, which still comes north. Not sure why there's the east spawn, to be honest, because it still just comes north anyway. Just a bit delayed. Maybe that's the point of it. Like, so they don't... and spawn a bit here, and then just join up there. Not of the ranges are talking about. I mean, yeah, I guess it could. It doesn't really matter too much, though, right? Because they do AoE damage anyway. Oh, they're spawning right on the path here. Okay. 250,000 life for giants. Oh, let's check down here first, though. This looks fine. Oh, they still have only 30% armor, though. 150,000 health for the mutants. No fire resistance. I mean, again, the armor wouldn't have mattered for us anyway. What's the fire damage? As oh, or dare I say, it, Chad pointed out correctly. <laughs> I like how you see, can see like a wave goes through the rangers when they start shooting over here. Like. This is how they look when they're not shooting, and then you see the wave go a bit further down or up, depending on how many are shooting at the same time. It's nice to watch him. I'm terrible at StarCraft and only really bad at that. There you go. I mean, nowadays I would be terrible at StarCraft too. I was, I was pretty good at it. I mean, not pro level, obviously. But occasionally he played against the pro on the ladder. Well, more like the B tier pros, but still. I mean, the mutants are 150,000. And since they're faster, they're actually scarier than the giants. Giants have more life. They deal a thousand damage, though. Like, how much damage do the mutants do? Only 30. Okay. But the mutants would wreck my defense like two hits and they kill towers. While the mutants still have to attack for a while. One more point for Chen. You're saying Chen is gonna complain for the next week again? Damn it. Yeah, Zaus didn't seem to be much. I mean, maybe there was a giant or something there, but. I mean, we have. 600 rangers there without the towers, so probably like 800 rangers there. Actually, we have 6,000 uh, rangers, that's not too bad. Have you done any vampire survivor runs lately? I haven't really. I did a few, like, a few months ago, but I haven't. I don't have any of the DLC stuff, so it was pretty similar to when I played it. Okay, I guess we killed everything. We might just have to wait for forced victory. Oh, they want to run somewhere. Okay, not any longer. Oh, I mean... I put chase, like... They seem like they want to run somewhere, but they're not actually running anywhere. Weirdly enough. Yeah, I mean, we have the one wave bucked here, right? So, I think day 75 is probably forced victory. We wait for that. If that isn't, then we just kill the command center and get a end screen that way. 
Are they adding new content to Vampire Survivors? I mean, there were a bunch of DLCs for Vampire Survivors, and they were all like one to two bucks or something. I haven't tried them though. I don't know if they're any good, but there is more content. Like there was also more content than when I played last. Like just more heroes and more weapons since then. Um, not too much though. Trader wants them, and they. I'm not sure who it is. Well, I mean, playing Among Us with 6,000 Rangers, that's gonna be rough. Probably still gonna lose. I mean, if you like Vampire Survivors and want something similar, like Potato is really good. From all the clone games, I've tried a bunch of them, like five or six. Potato is the only one I really enjoyed. The other ones I usually gave up after like half an hour. But Potato I played uh, I played through all the characters on the highest difficulty. I think that's getting a DLC too at some point. I might try that one. League of Legends put out a game like Vampire Survivors. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Funny who everyone is trying to com like copy a concept once it's like popular and somewhat easy to make. You can say, have you tried the Misfit Armory? No, I haven't. It's kind of fun, not too hard, harder than... Hero 19, for sure. <laughs> so it's gonna be ridiculous. Yeah, Little Kid uh, recommended that one. I'm not sure if I have subscribed to it already. I think I might have. I haven't tried it, though. To answer your question. Okay. Uh, I mean, I don't think the game is running slower right now. We don't have that many rangers. We're still not close to 30,000 units. I think that was the maximum I ever had. Which really slowed down the game, even if there were no zombies around to kill. Oh, there we go. 360,000 infected killed. That's not bad. <laughs> 